Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Today I'm going to show you a 2020 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. This is the very, very popular setup. Stock combos over the years have really gained a lot of traction. They hold their value extremely well. And one of the biggest things that customers love about these trailers is their versatility. So whether you're hauling horses, you're hauling livestock, you're hauling a UTV, an ATV, anything along those lines, or a combination of any of those, these trailers really, really seem to fit customers extremely well. Because you also have a tack room on, it, on the trailer. So again, they've become extremely popular. We don't get very many of them in on trades because usually people don't want to get rid of them or they've got a buddy or a friend or they can get it sold themselves fairly easily. So again, over the years, we've kind of done some different setups, but on this one here, I'm going to show you today, this is kind of more of a basic setup. You know, you see a lot of the 20, 20 footers and 24 footers. This one is 24 foot on the floor has a four foot front tack room. It's 610 wide, so you have no wheel wells on the inside of this trailer. And then it is 71 tall. That's the standard height on Cimarron's. We'll just take a look at this trailer. Underneath the gooseneck here, you got a single leg manual hand crank. Very, very basic and very standard on a lot of these trailers. But what I wanted to show you is, I got the hand crank in here right now, but it removes, and this also doubles as a lug wrench for you. So always have a lug wrench for your Cimarron when you're going down the road. And then it's got a cool little spot back here that it stores. So bumpy roads, things like that, as long as it's down in there, knock on wood, I haven't had anybody tell me they've lost one. And the other thing that Cimarron's done is, I don't have it in because I've got the, the trailer plugged in the power right now to run our lights, but they've got a great place for you to store your seven pin cord actually, right here in this, on this side of the trailer. Now, one thing that we've done here at, at TransWest is we understand that the trucks continue to get taller and taller, especially bed height. Um, which can cause some issues with bed clearance and trailers running level. So one thing that we've gone in and done is the standard height is 50 inches from the gooseneck drop wall. So it actually starts, when you look underneath the trailer, it actually starts about right there is where the gooseneck drop wall begins. So from this point here to this point down here, standard is 50. We've gone in on all of our Cimarron's with exclusion, exclusion of our living quarters. Every one of these trailers is at 53 inches. And the reason why we did that is because then we can adjust the coupler height, give you bed clearance, and the trailer's gonna run level on those two axles. That is what we need to do. We don't want all that weight run on the back axle to give you bed clearance and the trailer running uphill. Or we don't wanna get it level and then have hardly any bed clearance to where you're going to tear up your bed. So we've gone in and made those steps to the trailers that we order for inventory uh, because we understand that every manufacturer has gone up in, in bed height. And actually in the early 2000s, um, the standard gooseneck drop wall height was 47 inches. And kind of about that 2003, 2005 in that window there, the trucks got taller. So everybody went to a 50 inch gooseneck drop. As we get into the, the front tack room, like I mentioned, it's a four foot. It's a very basic four foot front tack room. We went ahead and we put windows in the gooseneck. So if you are gonna sleep in this, you can throw a mattress up there, some bed rolls, sleeping bags. And the nice thing is you can get a cross breeze through there and it keeps it nice and cool. The other thing is you have Cimarron's insulated roof that's standard on every one of these trailers. So not only in this instance, I mean, yes, we're keeping the staller a cooler for the animals and transit, but it'll be cooler for you if you are actually staying in this for a night or two. Uh, keeps, us, keeps it about 20% cooler than an aluminum sheeted roof. 
So that is, that is a great feature that, that Cimarron's put on every one of these Cimarron's. Then you have a four tier saddle rack with a recessed post against the wall. And then we put just some hooks up high with carpet behind them. So bridles aren't scuffing up the wall when you're driving down the road. This trailer here on the front stall has the escape door. So if you just need to access anything, it's gonna be on passenger side, so it's the same side as your tack door. On every one of these Cimarron's, the track is already there for you if you wanna add plexiglass to it. You'll see the cutout right here. That plexiglass just slides in. And on all of them, from the middle of this cutout to the front of the trailer, on where the plexiglass goes, that's four foot. So you like them in four foot sections. It's a very manageable size. Um, but it's it can all these trailers can have that plexiglass added after the fact. You've got two exterior tie rings on each side of the trailer. If that's not enough and you want more, that is not a problem. We can easily go in and install them. You tell us how many you want and where you want them. We'll mark them with tape when you're here and our shop will get them installed for you. So this trailer is equipped with two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. And then these are 16 inch aluminum wheels that are standard on all Cimarron's. You'll notice the green tab. That is because these tires are nitrogen filled. And that nitrogen filled is just gonna help manage PSI levels from fluctuating drastically that can cause blowouts for you. We haven't talked about the warranty of the trailer. I will here in a second. But the vendor that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires, it's called Lion's Head. And you have a one year, no questions asked warranty on those tires right there. So if you have a blowout, if you catch a nail and it can't be patched, you send in the codes to Lion's Head and in a couple days you'll have a new tire. So no questions asked warranty on the tires and also on the wheels, but then you also get two years of roadside assistance that comes with that. On the Cimarron side of the warranty, you have an eight year structure warranty and a three year hitch to bumper. They really stand behind their product. When we get to the back here, we've got a single gate with a slider in it. And like I mentioned, up there in that front, that front stall, you can access it from the escape door. But what we have is we have two 10 foot uh, sections here with the center cut gate. It's a nice slam latch. So for safety purposes, you can push animals up there and then slam that gate. Very easy to release from the inside. There is an exterior release as well, but then they've gone in and they've got it to where it pins in against the wall there. If you are wanting to run it open, but as you can see, again, talking about loading horses, livestock, or any of your toys. You've got a big stall area. You got, you got two different stalls that you can um, put things in. And, and again, that's why these stock combos are so versatile. We've gone in and actually done a tie rail the entire length between the two air gaps. So, yep, you can go ahead and tie your horse around this post, but if you do put plexiglass in at some point, you won't be able to tie to this post. So you have this tie rail and then you can tie animals anywhere you want in this trailer. But I got a couple items here I wanted to show you. So this is Cimarron's sidewall, the slat. 
So this is a nine inch section right here and it is triple hollow. So it gains a ton of strength by putting those hollow cores in there. Now this is the mill finish piece. This right here is the polished piece that we do on some of the show trailers. But I just wanted to kind of show you that, that they just slide together. Just like that. But the one thing that I also really like about this is is Cimarron uses this one by three eighths by two inch tube for their sidewall posts. A lot of competitors will use more of a rectangular shaped upright post, a C channel or a hat channel. Now on the rectangular posts, you'll notice those on Cimarron's roof. And the reason why they're on the roof is one, we have a stronger roof because of the hollow core design and that half inch thick honeycomb that's in that insulated roof. I can walk on that roof. I don't have to find these roof bows. I won't dent it. But this post here is what a lot of the competitors will use on their side posts. And I tell everybody, if you take a 20 foot stick of that, it'll wobble like a noodle all the way down. If you take a 20 foot stick of this side post that Cimarron uses, it's like a pencil. It's one fluid motion. So there's a lot more strength in this post even though these have the same amount of aluminum in the post, it's just more of a square. But also what Cimarron's done with their sidewall, with that hollow core, and then it's nice and smooth on the inside. So when those posts get there, as you can see, there's nowhere really for any manure, dirt, anything like that to get behind that post. So when it comes time to clean this trailer out, you know, I'm gonna be able to clean this out a lot easier. We're not gonna have all that manure behind there. We've all sat there with the power washer and you just spray and spray and spray and it keeps coming out. Well, this, I really like this design because it's nice, it's smooth, it's a nice sleek finished look to the trailer as well. I haven't even mentioned that we're standing on the industry's best floor, but I'll do that now. So it's a double tongue and groove. It's a 12 inch extruded deck that locks in together, but they're on four inch centers. So anywhere where you have a horse or any other livestock pretty much standing on this, cows, I mean, we're gonna exclude kind of some of the small animals in that, but they are standing on a support beam. So there is not a better floor out there on the market than what Cimarron's done here. Over here on driver's side, like I mentioned, we have the two exterior tie rails on each, each side or tie rings, but we can go in and add more of those very easily. And then out here is that release for that center cut gate. Again, this is a 24 foot stock combo by Cimarron, four foot front tack, 20 foot stall, if you don't need a 24 footer, we have the twin to this trailer and a 20 footer. And then we also have some other variations of some of the stock combos. But if you're interested in this trailer, it is stock number 5N190289. So again, if you're interested in this one, Give us a call if you want to talk about any other trailers we have or even custom building one of these for you. To your specs, we can do that. It's a very easy process. But give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. 303-684-3400. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest, Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.